I'm Steph. I'm the children and families worker from St. Peter's Church at Bentley. And uh, tomorrow we're going into lockdown again. And I know that's very uh, difficult and a sad time and could be, you know, hard. I know that. I get that. And I'm not trying to play that down at all. Believe me, I'm not. But tomorrow is also a special day. It's the feast of the... So part of the Anglican tradition, the Church of England, we have feast days and it's the feast of the Epiphany. And the Epiphany is when some special people, there's a clue there, came to visit Jesus, the kings, the magi as they are called. Now, um, I know Dave Berry and his family, they celebrate feast days and they'll probably be wearing crowns if they're not doing all their homeschooling. Um, and when we could meet, we used to go and have something to eat at Dave's house uh, and we had um, drink with real gold in it to celebrate the feast of the Epiphany when the kings came. So I'm just going to move my cursor because I stopped myself early. So I've already done this once and then I have to redo it. So I thought it'd be a great idea to remember the kings to celebrate the feast of the Epiphany by making some crowns. Now... This one is a special pre-made crown, so don't worry, we're not going to be that fancy um, because I like us to try and make things with what we've got lying around our house. So, cardboard, that's all you need, cardboard, any kind of box will do, um, foil, scissors, pens, um, sellotape and glue, okay? And I found another box like this tea box that would make a great crown okay so I'm sure you are going to be very good at making crowns so this is your challenge now uh, we like to be educational here at St Peter's we don't actually know how many kings visited Jesus and they didn't visit at the same time as the shepherds they visited sometime later maybe a couple of years but we always uh, put the kings together when the shepherds are there. Otherwise, our nativity would be a very long nativity. So we don't know that there were three. It doesn't say in the Bible there were three. But we presume there were three because they took three gifts. And one was gold. The other was frankincense, not Frankenstein. And the other one was myrrh. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. Gold was to represent kingship, uh, frankincense was to represent God, and myrrh, myrrh was something that they used to embalm dead bodies. So that would be like our equivalent of turning up to a baby shower, taking a coffin. Very odd, something you wouldn't do. And it says in the Bible that Mary pondered these things in her heart. It does make you wonder what was she thinking. So we are going to make some crowns. This is a challenge, so the challenge is out there for you. See if you can make a crown. So all I've used was a pizza box. I cut it in half, right? And then if you cut it this way, so cut it in half to make it big enough. Although if you've got something else you can use, that's great. And if you just do this lot and open it up, turn it this way, this will be your crown. And all I did was chop off the loose flappy bits like this. Chop them off, quick two minute job. I'll just do it here. Yeah. Doesn't need to be posh. Fold it in half. And it'll save you a job. And then basically, I love making crowns. Up and down triangles like this. I'll do it that way and then you can see better. Up and down triangles. Right. Now, I'm a great believer in not wasting stuff. So what you could actually do when you've done it all the way around, yeah, is use some of these bits, stick them on to decorate it. So that is what you are to do. And here is one in true Blue Peter style that I made earlier. Da, da, da. So you see, I've coloured it in, I've put some foil on it, stuck things on. So tomorrow is the Feast of the Epiphany, when we remember the kings. So can you make a crown 
and post a picture of yourselves. I'm sure yours will be much fancier than mine. Mine was quite a rough job. Uh, post a picture of yourselves with your crowns on St. Peter's Bentley Facebook page or Team St. Peter's. It would be great to see your crowns, everybody. Or you can post it on Little Fisher's page as well. Okay, take care, stay safe. And I am only a text message away. So get in touch if you need a chat. Lots of love. Looking forward to seeing the crowns.